For some reason, I wish I looked at my hands. Yeah, to see my appearance, because I wasn't sure. I was just so fascinated in what was in front of me then instead of looking at myself. Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Magical Foray. I hope you're getting to do what you want to do because you can and you're alive! Yes! So as you can see, I got some cat ears on here. I'm feeling very festive during October. Honestly, I just wanted an excuse to just wear these cat ears. They're just so flippin' cute and I just had to. Yeah. <laughs> so in today's video, I wanted to talk about a time where I took a 30 minute nap and I woke up inspired to create and to paint and to do something with that 30 minute nap. And hard to believe 30 minute naps can be so helpful during the day, especially when you're tired. And I don't know how, but something came through. I had a mini dream and it was powerful. Honestly, it's hard to believe that sometimes even when you're taking a quick nap, you dream. And dreaming can happen anytime, even when you're awake, if you know how to do that. And if you know how to do that, Comment down below because I want to know your story, your experience of dreaming while you're awake. Yeah. So uh, grab snacks, grab your drinks, grab your food, grab your supplies, your sketchbook, your iPad, your notebook, your pens, your papers, your markers, your paint, your paintbrushes, your canvas, and let's get into painting. So as you can see, this painting is much larger than my previous painting videos. I've only been doing 12 by 12s. So this particular one is a 16 by 20. Gaze upon a larger canvas because it is happening. I had a profound dream on a Sunday that was spiritually powerful because it was 10 10. So I don't know if you know about this, but you know, on that day, you know, Things are closing, things are opening. So I had to commemorate that dream and the feeling that I had on that particular day with this image. So I'm gonna scoot in and show you exactly what I'm gonna be painting. A magical creature in a gooey portal that's like revealing the magical creature. So I got all this goo on the sides here and it's just like, like opening. I don't know how to like say that besides using my hands. <laughs> That's what came through and that is literally what I'm gonna be painting. So it was Sunday 10 10 around 3 30 p.m. and I took about a 30 minute nap. I think I just dozed off watching like a, a movie that was recommended to me on HBO. Oh yay, start with colors, yay! <laughs> I literally get excited for like the littlest things, I swear. It's the little things that make life amazing, you know? Anyway, off topic, back to the story. <laughs> so in my dream, I remember that I was somewhere. I was definitely somewhere. I couldn't recognize the place where I was, but it was very familiar, as most of my dreams are, surprisingly. They're mainly familiar, but I can never remember the names because the image itself is more powerful. For some reason, I wish I looked at my hands. Yeah, to see my appearance, because I'm sure I was just so fascinated in what was in front of me then instead of looking at myself. So I sat on a hill with a beautiful view of the land and the ground and seeing all the creatures and whatnot. And I just, I think, I believe I sat and something soft next to a pile of rocks, but I don't think they were rocks. I think they were just like like giant pine cones or something. I don't know. They weren't rocks, because I could easily move them. Then again, it's a dream, so I don't know. Maybe rocks aren't as heavy in my dream. <laughs> I'm super strong in my dream. <laughs> so I was sitting on the ground next to these cool pine rock looking thingies, and there it was blue trunks and purple leaves and I thought that in itself was just gorgeous and beautiful was, I'm just thinking blue and purple go so well together and class began this class was just in this magical realm basically and it was just so amazing and it was beautiful it wasn't just like an auditorium 
it was like a location a place place of life just types of creatures types of plant life types of land like different types of materials in this realm and I knew I was waiting for this class to happen because I knew I had to be at a certain place in my life in order to have access to this class. So once I reached a point in this reality, I was able to finally have access to this class and I was waiting for it forever, for years. And it finally happened and when I went into this class, it was a hologram kind of like teaching. Wherever you sat, the teacher was in front of you, so it felt like a, like there were different places that had like devices where holograms were placed and the teacher can just appear out of nowhere, wherever you are, as long as you're in the vicinity of like when class is being taught because there are different creatures from different realms that need a different type of environment. So yeah, I thought that was really cool in itself. Hard to believe the class was, you know, 45 minutes in my dream, even though I took a 30 minute nap. Time is just so different everywhere else. I think that's a fact, honestly. And there were other, there were other life forms there as well that I also recognized and that I did recognize that were also in the same boat that I was in, just waiting for the class to happen be open to them and I recognize some of them and they recognize me too you know we've like mingled a little bit it's like oh my god it's been a while I can't believe you're in this class like whoa this is so cool like what did you have to go through to get to this class you know not everyone can take this class and, and it's just so cool having a conversation like that and I wish I could have more conversations like that sometimes. It's like, you know when someone's changed so much, they healed and they went through so much in their life that they're literally a different person, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Even though they may dress the same, their hair is still the same, you know, their vibe is still the same, but they have truly changed. And it's so, it, I don't know, it's just so cool. It's just so interesting. I'm just saying. And caught up with that cool being. So the device in front of me started, it started to just open and appear and then a hologram appeared in front of me and it was my guide. And it's funny because like I instantly knew it was my guide, like a spirit guide, even though I haven't acknowledged until my guide was in front of me. It was just amazing. I was like, oh my god, hey, I had a feeling we were going to see each other. I just didn't think we were going to reconnect this way. And once I heard the being's voice, like my whole soul like trembled. Okay, I'm giving like a visual description. So like imagine like this is my soul and then something touched it and it's like trembling, the vibration. So I felt like once I heard this being's voice, I was like, oh my God, I was meant to take this class and I was meant to be mentored by you. And honestly, I, I was trembling. My voice was trembling. My uh, I was my I was shaking like my body, my hands. I was just like, oh my god, like I'm getting goosebumps. This is real. <laughs> it sounded like this person drank a lot of tea with honey, and their voice just was so smooth. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Listening to him talk, and I was just like, wow. This while I'm in my dream, I'm listening. I'm thinking in my head, wow. His voice is just like a deep rich voice you know how like when there's leaders in the room and their voice is recognizable you just have to be quiet and listen because their voice is important and they have to they have something important to say to you and you need to hear it so it felt like that also mesmerizing too so i'm just gonna say that too <laughs> so it was deep it was mesmerizing and it felt important like I needed to learn this stuff or else no one else was going to teach me this stuff. So I felt honored. I was grateful, honestly, to be in that space at that time during that day in a 30 minute nap. That I was, I was literally like, wow, I'm in class. I should be asleep, but no, my brain wants to work. My soul wants to go somewhere. My energy wants to, go. I'm just like, okay, so I'm here. I'm here, I'm gonna learn something. I'm finally have access to this class and I'm excited. I'm excited to learn. What am I gonna create? What am I gonna do? Like, I'm inspired, like, what? I'm, I'm inspired just sitting in this class and class has really started. <laughs> so, let's just say that class Throughout the dream, I learned so much about myself, so much about my mentor, 
so much about time itself. I learned about other beings, other energy, other sources. I learned about how to magically, how to magically tap in. That's why this, this sign was so important. I had to, every time I make a sign, something comes through and I'm like, I feel like this message is important to say in my video. So I have to literally put the words into a little thing and put it in the video. So anyway, magically tap in. That was another thing that I was learning in the class and you know, other things to basically evolve, basically to gather wisdom and use it, use it to the best of my ability anywhere I go, if you catch my drift, and including in this reality. So I thought that was just so amazing and I, I just felt, I honestly felt blessed to just have the, have the time, have the privilege to just be there. What an incredible experience. What a short dream though. I wish it was longer. I wish I napped longer. I wish I wish my 30 minute nap turned into a four hour nap because you know you're already sleeping so. <laughs> and you already know what I had to do. As I was waking up I had to get an image from that dream because it was so profound and the colors were striking. As I was waking up the image just stuck to my mind. It was the last thing that I saw. And it was literally my mentor. And, you know, the dream was collapsing. The portal was revealing itself. It was like a gooey thing. It was like getting sucked in, you know, closing. And that's literally what I had to paint. I'm just like, the last thing that I saw, I was talking to my mentor and I was like, yo, yeah, I'm learning some cool stuff today, you know? I think that was really cool that I had a chance. I'm honestly thinking about like, how can I even get back into that dream? <laughs> what else can I learn? <laughs> what else? What else is out there? <laughs> Gosh, I cracked myself up. I mean, if you can't crack yourself up, how are you going to make somebody else laugh? Think about that. <laughs> able to remember the images from my dreams. I'm able to remember the colors. I'm, remem I'm able to remember the feeling and the details and the lining from my dreams. Be put to be placed on a canvas so I can always constantly look at it, always remember that that happened, you know? So I literally look at my canvases, my art pieces as like you know how people look at like photos and pictures, digital photos on their phone, on their desktop, and it's like, oh my God, I'm looking at memories. And it's literally like an image of like the past. This is literally like all the art. I'm like looking around. Sorry, I'm like, you can't see any art. Oh, like, there's some art pieces, some art pieces. Yeah, but I'm like looking at everything and I'm like, wow, I'm like looking at the memories, the times that I painted all that stuff. Like, it's so cool. I did that. <laughs> I already know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna spend like all week painting this. If I discover more things about myself as I'm creating. And I think that's just a wonderful thing, honestly. And I think about all the creators and artists in the world and I'm like, think about just looking at that. Like, do they think about the same things too? So I hope you like that a very profound little nap. That was a very profound dream that I didn't think happen in such a short amount of time but I believe you can get inspired by literally anything in little time a lot of time anytime honestly yeah. so I'm just gonna be painting this and I'm probably gonna be you know do I even have words I don't I'm just gonna show you so this is the main attraction This is so animated, honestly, but I love it. I love the colors. I love greens, blues, purples, lavenders, light blues right now. Light blues. It's, it literally fits in the frame. That's so perfect. <laughs> So please smash that like button if you like this dream story of mine, if you like painting, if you like how it just came out, like, and 
I'm reflecting it off the light so you can see the metallic colors bouncing off the light. I love that. It's about the details for me. I will be posting this on my art website when I'm officially done on magicalfreight.com. So please stay tuned for that. I hope you get a chance to take a nap, to sleep a lot more so you can dream. You know, you already know. So don't forget you're a magical being capable of creating transforming evolving changing taking action today making magic because you already know i'm all about the magic <laughs> and i hope you have a magical day being your magical self and i'll see you next time bye hopefully you can see hello welcome back to my channel it's your girl magical Frey. i hope you're having a magic day It's your girl, Magical Foray. I hope you're getting to do what you want to do because you can and you're alive. Oh, can you tell that I like to have things organized? <laughs> Always fiddling. Always fiddling! Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, gaze at the size. <laughs> uh, fucking childish. <laughs> I should have said that. Sometimes something so small can be very powerful. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Not that anybody asked, but I did another cut crease. <laughs> anyway, I can't believe I'm filming this. At 11.30 at night, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? It's gotta get, it's gotta get filmed. I just love listening to brush strokes. So satisfying. <laughs> I'm just so bad at remembering names, I only remember faces. I'm like, oh, Bob? Yeah. Which Bob is that? The one with the, the plaid t-shirt? Okay. <laughs> Maybe, I didn't even ask for the name, but wait a second, I, I knew the name. I knew the person, so I must have known the name, right? That was so cool. I can't believe I'd just be painting and creating just from waking up and be like, oh, I saw something. I have to, I have to drop this out. I have to paint it out. Like, the image is there. It's burned into my very memory. And if it doesn't come out, then I don't know. I, it has to come out. <laughs> I hope you have a magical day being your magical self. And, bro. Oh. Damn near a minute. <laughs>